Hi, I'm Rolling Redneck, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Secret of Mana. Last time we were here in the tropics, and we got the uh, elemental Salamando, and things stopped being so tropical here. Let's continue on from this. We're going to skip all the enemies because I went through here when I uh, tried to record this last time, but somebody decided to call me. Frickin' scam callers. Anyway, before we continue on to our destination, we are going to do some healing. But why are we doing that healing here, you might ask? Well, it's this guy, Neko. So yeah, we're good on magic. Now we're gonna need that magic. And um, one of our weapons now confuses people. I believe it is the bow. You know what, I hate these things. That's why I get one last shot in before he died. Okay, now that all that is handled, let's go inside to some of the best music in the game. Welcome to the Ice Palace. When I said that Ice Levels have the best tracks in the SNES, I wasn't joking. So this button don't work. But what happened there? Oh wait, the wall came down. No, I'm not sure what purpose that was supposed to serve. But that button over here on the left side of the screen don't work. So we're supposed to figure out what we're supposed to do. And here is the evolved form of the green drops, the blue drops. Unlike the green drops that poison you, the, the blue drops freeze you. Thank you for proving that concept, Mr. Blue Drop. And I think because it's confused, it's not going to multiply. And I'm really starting to dislike the uh, La Funks, or whatever they are called. Oh, and I was apparently wrong. 
The turtles aren't called turt lances, they're called shell blasts. The shell the turt lances come in a later area. Now there are two doors. We went to the left, the right door. Why are we going to the right door? For a free gloves orb. These enemies, the specters or the ghosts or whatever they are, they cannot be attacked only by, by physical attacks like the funks can. They are undead, and let me show you a concept. I'll regret this later, but what the hell. Okay, it doesn't reverse m energy absorb, like I said. But I know it reverses magic absorb. Or maybe that was a glitch in this area, I don't know. As for dealing with them, um, they aren't worth dealing with at all. Just leave them alone. They don't have a much rare treasure that I know of. And they aren't worth that much EXP, especially considering that um, your MP is pretty limited at this point in the game. I say that, but I'm going to do this. At level 29, I'm pretty over-leveled. But I am going to try to kill some enemies to show off the area. Spectres are weak to light, but we don't have the light elemental yet. And these guys, the uh... Let's see what they're called. Weepy eyes. They are, uh. They are. They are. They cast light magic. And they are machines. Mystic books are pretty interesting. Because Mystic Books and their Evolve form have a little glitch if you leave, leave them on the screen too long. There's like a 2% chance or something that they will uh, show off a uh, centerfold. As in, semi-naked lady. It was a little thing they, the original Secret of Mana team put in as a joke and never... And the Nintendo censors never caught on because... It appears so rarely. Because we're so over leveled, I'm not showing off everything the Mystic Book can do. But they have an attack um, called uh, Lucid Barrier. It's more light magic. And, um. 
It'll protect them from physical attacks for a num for a short number for a short amount of time. You'll learn more about that when we get light magic. And now that we're here, um, we're dealing with ton poles again. This time, three of them. So here's the problem with this boss fight. The bosses can't hurt you anymore because you're much higher level than when you first encountered them. However, if all three of them eat you, you can't get them out you can't get your party out of their mouths and it will be game over. I'm not sure why this boss is here, other than to fill time. I'm gonna try to let uh, the bo these monsters um, do Lucid Barrier for fun. There we go. However, after, as you can see, I can't really damage it. However, after a certain number of hits, it'll return to normal. It'll be a pretty handy spell to learn when we learn it. However, light magic, as you're gonna learn, eats MP like a bastard. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video here because the next part is gonna take pretty long and if I try to do, if I try to do the whole dungeon in one video, it's going to take hours to upload to YouTube, so I'll see y'all next time.